all you SoCal chiropractic lovers out there, I've got a treat for you today. You are about to watch a TikTok video that got me permanently banned. The video is of a neurosurgeon criticizing a baby video I posted on TikTok that went super viral, 60 million views. Being the most hated chiropractor on the internet, I'm used to these attacks, but this one I had to respond to. A link to my response is in the description below, or you can slide over to three minute mark. Now I need a favor from all of you. I need to start a new TikTok account. I was at 150,000 followers before, and now I'm at zip. You see, the more followers I have, the more my content gets pushed out into the world. And guess what? My haters really hate that. So if you want to see more viral videos that flip the trolls out, please follow me. Love you guys. Trying to reshape his hair and his skull. He doesn't like it. This was incredibly difficult to watch, and stuff like this has to end. After seeing this video, I felt like I had a responsibility to say something. I don't get angry at many things, but watching this definitely made me incredibly upset. I don't know much about what's going on with the baby, but here's what I do know. This is an infant that was born with something called hydrocephalus. They were also reportedly born prematurely. Hydrocephalus is a condition where there is an overproduction of cerebrospinal fluid, and it tends to build up in the head. And if it's left untreated, it can actually deform the shape of the skull, kind of like what happened to this kid. And for some reason, this chiropractor thought that it was a good idea to squeeze the head and attempt to get it back into a normal position. Now here's the thing. In the early stages of development, infants do have a mobile skull, but those areas tend to fuse over time. So if this patient's skull is still mobile and he's actually compressing it, then he's creating brain damage in an already cognitively delayed infant. But if the skull is fused, then what is the point of him applying pressure to that head? And not only that, this chiropractor thinks that somehow he can help this cognitive delay by adjusting the patient's neck. The important thing to realize here is that the patient has an implant inside of their head going down their neck and into their belly. This is a catheter that was implanted by neurosurgeons to allow the overly produced fluid to exit from the head down the neck and into the belly. And by adjusting the neck, this chiropractor is putting that catheter in the neck at risk for a fracture, which would require a second surgery in this infant. I wanted to raise awareness for this kind of thing and make sure that people understand this is not a good idea. Do not allow a person to squeeze the head of your baby thinking that, that that's going to fix the problem. Nor should you get your baby's neck adjusted thinking that that's going to somehow improve their cognition. Please educate yourself on the topic and stay informed. Hey, this is Dr. Thayer. Watching this neurosurgeon's video is very difficult because we all graduate from school learning a thing called the Hippocratic Oath. Do no harm. After watching this video, I felt compelled to say something. By spreading misinformation, this doctor is denying other families with similar issues the option to help their babies. In this case, the baby has been under medical supervision for over a year and a half already. And during that time, the neurosurgeon that consulted with the parents told them to let their child expire because he'd always be a vegetable. So what is this doctor's motivation? Maybe this doctor doesn't understand what's going on in this video. Well, I invite him to have a direct conversation with me about the welfare of this child. I'd love to talk to him. Or maybe his motivation is simply fame. If he's truly concerned about the child, shouldn't he be asking me questions or be curious about the method I'm using to treat the child? Isaac was born prematurely with hydrocephalus, a swelling of the brain. His head is highly misshapen. And it's not from the hydrocephalus like this doctor says, it's from the neglect in the ICU from the doctors and nurses. You see, heads misshapen when you leave them still for too long on their back. You need to constantly move the child so the head doesn't get misshapen. That's how it works. And the doctor claims that I'm causing brain damage to this child by simply trying to push the bones back into their normal state. Medical doctors push on cranial bones by molding their heads with a helmet. Are they causing brain damage? The medical literature is very clear on this. Cranial bones don't completely fuse until two years old. Isaac's only 18 months. Now the crazy part about this video is that the neurosurgeon is actually making up accusations against me 
just to create drama. Nowhere did I say I was trying to increase cognitive function on Isaac. As I say in all my videos to all my patients, my only mission is to balance the body neurologically. And when this occurs, you see significant change in all departments. Now let's talk about the shunt. The shunt is a rubber silicone tube that goes from the brain all the way down to the stomach. The tube is generally permanent, so it has to last a lifetime. It's strong enough to take full range of motion by every person who has one and to grow from a child all the way to an adult. The thing is pretty tough. I have 30 years of experience adjusting adults and infants. I never turn a neck more than he or she would turn her own neck. So spreading fear is nonsense since it absolutely is safe. And to top it off, the shunt is nowhere near my point of contact. I wanted to raise awareness that this medical doctor should not be spreading misinformation and instilling fear into the people that watch his channel. As doctors, we should be uplifting other health professionals, not taking away options for people looking for care and relief. As I stated earlier, I am more than happy to open a dialogue with this doctor and show him how I could help his patients with similar conditions.